Hi, good morning friends. Ben back again with another one. Uh, this time it's me uh, replacing my uh, split fire uh, ignition cable with uh, an NGK1. You guys can see this. The reason behind this is one of my friends has requested for uh, this cable. And uh, so I'm going to be giving it off to him. Meanwhile, I got myself one uh, which is uh, from NGK and it's pretty much the same. This has uh, an even finer copper wire. This has the usual conventional copper wire that comes with the uh, factory uh, uh, wiring kit. But the uh, firing tip that I did not receive with the split fire cable, that is this part I uh, have uh, gotten, that is the cap, the resistor cap is from NGK as well. So it's not just the wire, but also the cap from NGK. And uh, this I got from uh, bikeandbiker.com. Uh, let me just give it a nice try and uh, a thorough test and get back to you. I mean, the, the first thing that you will notice with uh, these uh, performance ignition cables is if you were to plug the spark plug onto here and uh, crank the engine, uh, you, will, you will be able to notice a thicker, more wider spark at the firing end of the spark plug. And uh, with the NGK Iridium that I run on my motorcycle, uh, you know for a fact that this is uh, uh, I mean definitely there's no comparison between this and the stock plug this has a again a more consistent uh, firing uh, going on the spark is so much more consistent than the um, stock uh, copper uh, uh, core of the uh, regular spark plug I've made a dedicated video on spark plugs and how to uh, uh, compare uh, the spark plugs to normal spark plugs, performance spark plugs and reading spark plugs for uh, to get a good idea of what's going on inside your combustion chamber and all that. But anyways, guys, this is my ignition coil that sits here like that. And I pulled it out, attached my lead, my cable to it right there. You can shove it in by screwing it in and then the other side you shove it in by screwing it in as well so well that's a dust, done dusted deal put it back on see how it fires so that's how it sits um, from the ignition cable going that way from the back and then plugged on to the spark plug like that neat and simple um, I may route this from the top that is I may insert it somewhere around here and pull it out from the top just so that you know it stays away from the engine head uh, well this is the uh, stock ignition cable the one that comes from the factory and uh, the difference between this and this is simply resistance this is a lot less uh, this is going to offer a lot less resistance to the energy that um, the ignition cable or the ignition coil generates and this offers at least in my understanding at least five times more resistance so whatever energy the ignition coil produces doesn't really get to the spark plug with these kind of wires mainly because of uh, cost cutting poor manufacturing quality and poor materials used Whereas these are dedicated ignition cables or spark plug uh, leads or LEDs, or is that you want to call them. And uh, these offer way less resistance in terms of um, uh, conducting electricity. So whatever energy that the ignition coil produces gets transferred straight to the spark plug with these wires. Another reason why you would want to upgrade to a higher quality or uh, less resistance wires because the chances of leakage in the system uh, develops with time uh, with these kind of wires they are not as pliable and as flex flexible as the uh, as these ones and so over time what happens is that these all the all the material in uh, this wire that you get to see here kind of becomes stiff and starts corroding and uh, there's a very high chance that uh, the leakage of energy can develop from this and again that will contribute to a weaker spark which will not burn all of the mixture that goes into the combustion chamber whereas with these leads spark plug ignition cables 
um, you can be rest assured that the energy that is that is generated in the um, ignition coil tra gets transferred straight without any bit of uh, wastage or leakage to the spark plugs. So uh, I technically don't have the full wire with me is because I used to run this. Uh, this is a wire again made from made by a manufacturer called uh, Splitfire. Uh, so I used to run this for for a good amount of time. I think I've used this for about uh, ten plus thousand kilometers, uh, and this has served me very very well. Well, that was the spark width that you saw coming out of this cable. So now to test the uh, throttle feedback. Again, a good ignition cable, good spark plugs and overall a good ignition coil too. Definitely aids in combustion and keeps the energy flowing straight to the spark plug and a good fire, clean combustion. So with that, you can definitely expect a good throttle response. Watch this. I do plug chops quite a lot. I mean, very often. And I read the plugs for various RPMs. And uh, based on that, I have done my... Uh, uh, you know, mods to the to the maps that uh, Powertronic or the ECU manufacturer provides, and I've been running a clean engine for a really long time now. Uh, the insides of the engine are good. My spark plug reads slightly richer always, and I'm okay with that. It's because I ride hard. I uh, you know ring the throttle every single time I'm on the machine, and uh, this keeps the engine in good nick. <coughs> so. Coming back to the ignition cable, I need a decent or if not better firing system on the machine is because I, I want a complete combustion to happen every single time and I want a consistent spark. I do not want my spark to be a little um, finicky, <laughs> so to say. So the thing is, if uh, I were to go in with the factory cables, if I were running the factory cables uh, with enough experience at hand with a lot of machines, I have seen that the spark weakens over time and at times there's no spark too for about uh, a second or so. And number two, you get improved throttle response because of clean combustion, complete combustion happening. Uh, a machine that listens to you with every single input that you give, in, give to it is a machine that everyone and any one of us would uh, be happy to own. Mm, I mean, uh, clean combustion is always good, but if it's already happening in your motorcycles, if it's already doing a good job of burning all of the uh, air and fuel, then I don't see a point in introducing an ignition cable into the system. But for the fellows who have a Powertronic installed and for the fellows who uh, have the carbed models, the carburetor models, 2016 version of the Himalayan came with a carburetor. Uh, you guys will definitely benefit from a high performance ignition cable is because um, the tweaks that you do to make your um, air fuel ratio slightly richer will always be uh, handled well by a cleaner uh, firing uh, uh, spark plug. And so a, a spark plug for that matter, an NGK Iridium. Uh, CR8 EIX is what I'm running. I could definitely run a colder plug, but then I'm okay with 
Mm, I mean, I haven't gone ahead and done extensive mods to the engine. It's just volumetric efficiency and uh, level one mods. So for level one mods, a CR8 EIX itself is a uh, good enough deal. So that's it, guys. If you like the video, kindly do subscribe to the channel for more such uh, wonderful videos. And uh, uh, see you on the comment section if you guys have any doubts regarding this mod. Ciao for now.